Welcome to my channel Fee Concepts CHM. This is the second part of the series of gradient divergence and curl. Here we define two operations. In the earlier video we had seen about gradient. So here we define two operations that is divergence and curl. These operations can be performed on vector fields. They play a basic role in the applications of vector calculus. Each operation resembles differentiation. However, one operation will produce a vector field whereas the other produces a scalar field. So if you have a vector field represented as f bar is equal to pi cap plus qj cap plus rk cap, the partial derivatives of p, q and r all exist. If you think of the del operator as a vector with the components uh, deba by deba x, deba by deba y and deba by deba z. We can also consider the formal dot product of this del operator with the field f bar. So this is the del operator and the divergence of f bar is given as del dot f bar. And we get it in this form when we take or we operate on f bar or we take a dot product of the del operator with f bar we get deba p by deba x plus deba q by deba y plus deba r by deba z. Imagine that a vector field f bar pictured below gives the velocity of some fluid flow it appears that the fluid is exploding outwards from the origin. This expansion of fluid flowing with velocity field f is captured by the divergence of f bar. The divergence for this uh, vector field is positive since the flow is expanding. This is an another example of positive divergence air leaving a punctured tire. Again here the fluid flow is shown so that uh, the vector field represents a fluid flowing so that it compresses as it moves towards the origin. So the fluid is going towards the origin. So since this compression of fluid is the opposite of expansion, the divergence of the vector field is negative. So the divergence, it simply measures how much the flow is expanding or compressing at a given point. It does not indicate in which direction the expansion is occurring. So in contrast uh, to the curl of a vector field, the divergence is a scalar. So the result that you get after the operation of divergence is a scalar. An example. If f bar is given as xz i cap plus xyz j cap minus y square k cap, we will find the divergence of f bar. So we have to just uh, differentiate uh, the terms with respect to x, y and z. So first term we are differentiating with respect to x. So we are taking a dot product of the del operator with f bar. So uh, First, we differentiate the first term with respect to x, with second term with respect to y and the third term with respect to z. So the differentiation of xz is z, differentiation of xyz with respect to y is xz and here there is no term of z so the differentiation will be 0. So this is the final answer. If the divergence 
of a function is zero, then the f the function f bar is said to be incompressible. Or if it is zero, it is also called as a solenoidal field. Here the divergence of gradient has been shown. Divergence of del f. So that is del dot del f is given by del bar square f upon del bar x square plus del bar square f upon del bar y square plus del bar square f upon del bar z square. We'll see a problem now. If phi bar is equal to 2x square zi cap minus xy square j cap plus 3yz square k cap. Find the divergence at these two points p represented by the coordinate 0, minus 1 and 1 and q is represented by 1, 1, 0. So we find the divergence del dot phi bar. So we write the, we substitute del the del operator this way in this bracket dot the or uh, the vector phi bar and now we will multiply the first term with this first term so i cap dot i cap will be 1 so we have get deba by deba x into or deba by deba x of 2x square z same way the second term multiply with the second term we get deba by deba y of minus x y z square and the same we do for the third term we get deba by deba z of 3 y z square differentiating this with respect to x so that will be this x square. We have to differentiate x square. That will be 2x. So you will get 4xz here. With respect to y, you get uh, 2y. So minus 2xy. And here with respect to z, this will be 2z. So we get 6yz. Now at the point 0, minus 1, 1, we will substitute x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1, and z is equal to 1 in this equation we get the answer as minus 6. Also, we can see that the divergence of pi bar is a scalar. There are no uh, quantities or uh, there are no vectors in, involved in this equation. Same way, if we take x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 0, we get the divergence value as minus 2. Next problem, if a bar is this uh, equation and phi is a scalar which is given by 2x square yz cube, we will have to find this first. Show that a bar dot del is into phi is equal to a bar dot del phi. So, first we will find a bar dot del into phi, we have substituted everything, a bar, the del operator and phi. So first we have differentiated this, that is a bar dot del bar we have found it. So we have multiplied the first term with the first term, second term with the second term and third term with the third term. So we get 2yz double by double x minus x square y double by double y plus xz square into deba by deba z and this equation remains the same of phi. Now again open up the brackets. You can differentiate this phi with respect to now x, x with respect to y and with respect to z. So here differentiating x square you get 2x that is 4xyz cube. Differentiate it y so you get 2x square z cube. Differentiate z cube with respect to z that will be 3z square that will be 6x square yz square. Opening up these brackets you get the final answer as 8xy square z raised to 4 minus 2x raised to 4 yz cube plus 6x cube yz raised to 4. Now we will find the right hand side a bar dot del phi. Substituting everything now. And differentiating first or finding del phi here you get this equation and then taking the dot product of a bar with this del phi we get x y square z raised to 4 minus 2 x raised to 4 
y z cube plus 6 x cube y z raised to 4. So we are getting the same equation that means the LHS is equal to the RHS. Next problem again a bar is given and phi is given as the same find the del dot a bar. So del is substituted a bar is substituted open up the brackets that is first uh, first uh, term multiplied with the first term that is we have to differentiate this term with respect to x there is no term of x so the differentiation is 0 then second term with respect to y we have to differentiate so you get minus x square and the third term we have to differentiate with respect to z so that will be 2z so that is 2xz so the final answer is minus x square plus 2xz now determine a constant a such that the vector v bar is given and uh, such that this vector v bar is solenoidal and hence find the value of v at this at this point okay v bar is solenoidal hence find the curl of v bar so v bar is solenoidal so we'll find uh, that means the divergence will be equal to zero so we have substituted del bar and v bar here now you open up the brackets so the first term multiply with the first term so differentiate this with respect to x we get as only 4 here minus 4 differentiation of this will be 0 differentiation of this will be 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x same way for the second term we have to just differentiate with respect to y so here the value 1 comes and in the third we have to differentiate with respect to z so here we get a so this is equal to 0 rearranging the terms as minus 3 plus a is equal to 0 we get a is equal to 3 so that is the value of a so again we have written down v bar and we are substituting the values the coordinates of the point as x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1 in this equation of v bar. We get this vector phi i cap minus 8j cap plus 2k cap. Now we will find curl of v bar. Curl of v bar is found in the form of a determinant form. Here in the first row comes i cap, j cap, k cap. On the second row comes deba by deba x that is the components of the operator del deba by deba x deba by deba y and deba by deba z and on the third row comes the components of the vector v bar now we will solve the determinant that will be i cap into deba by deba y into phi x plus 6y plus 3z minus deba by deba z into minus 2x plus y minus phi z minus j cap into Deba by deba x of phi x plus 6y plus 3z minus deba by deba z of minus 4x minus 6y plus 3z then plus k into deba by deba x of minus 2x plus phi y minus phi z minus deba by deba y of minus 4x minus 6y plus 3z. So if you differentiate we get this step. And we get the curl of V bar as that is L cross V bar as 11 I cap minus 2 J cap plus 4 K cap. Next R bar is given as X I cap plus Y J cap plus Z K cap. It is a position vector with respect to right handed coordinate system. Find del dot R bar. So del dot R bar is we will substitute del in this first bracket dot r bar is given open up the brackets now the first term into first term we get i cap dot i cap is 1 so deba x upon deba x second term deba y by deba y plus deba z upon deba z so the answer is 1 plus 1 plus 1 and that is 3 thank you for watching this video